Good day class, did you know that living things depend on their environment and other living things to survive? Plants and animals cannot live alone. They depend on each other to survive. Together, they form a chain, which shows how connected they are to each other. In this lesson, you will learn about the food chain. You will find out who eats what or who eats whom, and how living things depend on each other to survive. In this lesson, you will name the components that make up a food chain, describe each component of a simple food chain, and draw a simple food chain using living things from the Philippines and label them correctly. Let us do activity number one. An ecosystem is a community where living things interact with each other and their surroundings. It has three key components, producers, consumers and decomposers. Let us discuss what is a food chain. A food chain is a sequence of organisms, each dependent on the next as a source of food. This chain shows how energy is transferred from one organism to another. Study the animals in the picture below. How is each animal identified in the caption? Look at the picture class. You will notice that the grass is the producer or source of food. The grasshopper, which is the primary or first consumer, eats the grass. The frog, as the secondary consumer, eats the grasshopper. The snake, being the tertiary or third consumer, eats the frog. The picture clearly shows how each organism uses the preceding member of the series as a source of food. Producers in a food chain Producers also known as autotrophs are organisms that make their own food, typically through photosynthesis. They are at the base of the food chain. Some examples of producers are grass, algae, and trees. Consumers in a food chain Consumers also known as heterotrophs cannot make their own food and rely on other organisms. Primary consumers or herbivores which consume plants for food. These creatures, whether insects or larger animals like grasshoppers and rabbits, represent the first level of consumers in the chain. Following the line are the secondary consumers, often carnivores. These are animals that prey on herbivores. Whether they are birds, spiders, or other carnivorous beings, they occupy the second level of consumers. Tertiary consumers may further consume secondary consumers. They are the top predators. 
The food chain ends with the decomposers, such as bacteria, fungi, and earthworms. Decomposers break down dead organisms, returning nutrients to the soil. They lasso play an essential role in recycling matter and energy in an ecosystem. Energy flows through different levels of a food chain, gradually decreasing as it moves from one organism to another. Only 10% of energy is passed to the next trophic level, the rest is lost as heat. Let us review the concept of food chain. A food chain shows how energy flows from one organism to the next in a simple, linear sequence. The components of a food chain include producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and decomposers. Energy flows from producers to consumers, with each step passing on less energy due to inefficiency. Also, Food chains are interconnected in food webs, showing the complexity of energy transfer in nature. Let us do activity number two.